Let's do this AI generated quake replica. I want to figure out how to play this. Oh my goodness, I'm going to vomit. Watch this. When I when my finger goes up, that means I press the key. Here, actually, I'll just show you. It's way off. All right, here we go. Oh gosh, there was a guy. The guy's gone. He's gone. I ran past him. I gave him the the greatest of all tricks, which is you just you simply need to uh, run by the bad guys. Same thing as in real life. Okay. I'm surprised that those things. Oh, look, they're gone. <laughs> the explodies, they're gone. Explodies gone. <laughs> Bruh. Get the AI game Musk tweet on screen right now, Flip. You put it right here. The future of gaming is AI. Quadruple A. Um, besides for feeling like I'm going to vomit, it's it's amazing. Hey, to be fair, it is amazing. I know we're all joking on it because it was just a horribly ass, but it also was amazing. It was amazing that it like existed and that it worked. Like I could walk around. Like it actually it actually allowed me to walk, which is pretty cool. It generated every frame. That's pretty cool. Too many game studios uh, that are owned by massive corporations like Microsoft generating Quake. XAI is going to start an AI game studio to make games great again. Yeah, because XAI is definitely not a massive corporation. I have so many thoughts on this. Like one of my first thoughts is I wonder how much money was spent on that demo. Second thought, I know people right now are just all boners in the chat being like, oh my gosh, but think of well, well, where it's going to be in 10 years. I mean, you do also have to remember that they probably used a billion hours of gameplay of just Quake and probably of just that specific level to create that experience. Like they didn't really actually create anything. It just made something that already existed, made it just do one thing, and then it like wasn't that great at doing that one thing. Like I, I'm just saying, like when you really think about it from its principles, it's actually kind of wild. Derivative by its very existence. Yes. Now, one could argue that you could make potentially new Quake levels. Maybe you could find a way to kind of prompt and explore and get some new Quake experiences built within this world. That could be pretty cool. But think about how far it's still going to have to go before it's something. It's impressive because of just the technical feat, but it's also nothing, right? Like in 10 years, is it still anything? I don't know. Can everybody be using a massive AI system to be able to play games? And can it also have like fast response times so it's like okay well pro i mean probably even in 10 years probably not my guess is probably in 10 years that would be like really hard honestly you know you know what i see when i see this kind of stuff you know what i think is the much better usage of this kind of technology that they're developing it will clearly be to be able to manipulate the world into seeing things in a certain way be able to show certain people certain a certain aspects of footage that may or may not exist of a live event right because live events are always a few seconds behind so they could probably do a bunch of this kind of stuff and then they're going to take it they're going to abuse it and then make it so that maybe you see one version of the debate i see an another version of the debate and politician a looks really great for me but politician uh, b for you looks really bad so you only choose politician a out of like disgust for politician b because of just the live video editing because they know they already knew you were not a b fan you were a b fan but they had the money behind A, and so therefore B needs to look worse. So they like auto generate some dark things around his eyes, so it feels like he's just like the, the, the person's more negative, and you know maybe it's a little bit more st 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 stuttering goes on. Damn, think about the future. The future is gonna be great. We're cooked. I know. That's actually what I think about when I see this stuff. I don't think about games because latency. Just how, how. How are you going to do that, right? We're going to have to really improve graphics card to make that happen. So, and plus they'd probably keep it as a service. Maybe there's a turn-based game that could be really neat because maybe you could have like fully unique experiences for every single like turn-based game. So there could be something pretty cool about it. Like at some point, I could see it happening. I could see there being a world where it could be neat. Yeah, the future is going to be, uh, is there going to be incon incontrovertible evidence of crimes that had never happened, putting people in prison? Oh, yeah. They call that mainstream media. Well, I'm just saying, this is actually going to happen. There's a non-zero chance world that exists where everything you see is manipulated because we can now do it in real time. Uh, because AI, let's go, everybody. The hottest take. Yeah, anyways, very interesting tech. Super cool. I don't know. I... I at the end of the day, like this stuff is super, super neat. And it, it feels super cool to see that people have made this. 
I just don't know if we're ever going to see something that's actually useful from it. I, the only argument one can make is that you could make a prototype in which you could see, is this game mechanic fun or not? I think that's the goal is like, can you make something that's fun? And can you show me that it's fun? That is the goal. Yeah, I figured that's the goal, but I'm not convinced that you're going to really be able to get a good experience from it. Maybe MVP generator, but you still have to do like the whole project afterwards, right? You still have like, there's, dude, there's still so much left. I don't know. I'm just curious if it ever could be, if there, if, if there's actually real usage, AI is capable of producing a game. If you show it 700 million hours worth of a game. Okay, cool. What does that look like in a decade? I don't know. You're saying a 100%. I don't bet on a hundred. Like I wouldn't bet on it. I don't know what it will be. Will it be prohibitively expensive to get there? I don't know. How much better does this have to get before it's actually a usable thing to be able to develop and actually feel game mechanics? And how much of game mechanics is a really fine tuning of various physical aspects, not just simply huge things. Also, Y'all don't understand exponential increase. Yeah, I, I hear I hear people say those words, um, but that's not really AI. This runs exactly how Cyberpunk runs on my GTX 1080, uh, 1080 Ti, yeah. And so I'm just not convinced, like, will this actually be able to produce a game with enough fidelity that you can truly feel the mechanic you're doing? And will you be able to make such slight adjustments to it that it can actually do the thing for you to enjoy because how do you know that jumping and clamoring and all the things you want to try are actually going to feel good if there's a good amount of leg between key and press and all that? So that's not going to do it. That's not going to, you know, it's going to be really hard to feel it. I'm not going to embrace the exponentials. I'm not embracing them. So it's just like, what is it? I can't, can, can it actually get there? Can it actually get to the point where it's, it's, it's good enough? Maybe in 10 years, maybe in 10 years it can get, it can get closer. What happened if it's what happened if it's 50 years? What happened if quantum computers come about and now we can just do amazing things and all of our problems are forever solved and infinite life batteries come out and also nuclear fusion and we can do all the things at all times at all points for free forever? Then yeah, yeah, yeah I guess maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. I'm still waiting on self-driving cars, which were told to me would definitely be here by 2019. I feel a little lied to right now. It's only been six years since self-driving cars were definitely going to be taking over everything. And they're just starting to peek around. Where's my self-driving and flying cars? I'm not even talking about flying. Well, look at Waymo. I took a Waymo last week. Yeah, Waymo does exist now. Waymo is like the first place that's actually happening. But it can't like, you can't give it snow. And it also gets destroyed by no, another robot. Have you seen the stuff that happens with Waymo? It's just so funny. Because you have one of those little walking robots that now are existing. I don't know if you've seen them. They're like little food delivery robots. And they like... You know, they're like a little walking robot. And then if a Waymo and one of these dogs are at the same intersection, right? And a, and a, one of the Waymo cars is right here about to go. It gets stuck. Then this thing's like, rah, 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 rah. oh, no, I can't go this way because of this guy. And then this one comes this way and goes, I can't go this way. And then they both stand there in a standoff and neither can move. And they're just stuck. Literal real life deadlock. Imagine explaining this to someone 10 years ago. I think this would be very easy to explain 10 years ago that ro robot cars drive around. In fact, I feel like people would be just as primed for robot cars driving around 10 years ago than they are today. Like, I, I, I think everyone's ready. In fact, if, if anything, it almost feels like if you said in five years, everybody's going to be driving a self-driving car 10 years ago, I feel like more people would have believed it then than do now because we're like, nah. Brother, we're like six years into there should be driving cars for everybody now, and that ain't happening yet. But in five years, you never know. That'd be great. Anyways, long story short to say, this could be cool and this could be useful. Just don't forget all the other things that are just five to ten years away before they're amazing. It's They're often not five to ten years away. They're often who knows how, amount of, how much amount of time. So anyways, just something to think about. Bye-bye. Thank you, Quake, for the vomit-inducing experience. I still actually feel carsick from it.